Hi everyone, I'm Massimo. I'm a PhD candidate in the CASTRP lab. And today the title of my talk is Minimally Invasive Delivery of Counterflow Hemostatic Powder for Non-Compressible Intra-Abdominal Hemorrhage in Swine. Next slide, please. Non-compressible intra-abdominal hemorrhage is a leading cause of death on the battlefield and in civilian trauma. It accounts for roughly 40% of all preventable pre-hospital deaths on the battlefield and over 40% of all deaths due to hemorrhage in civilian trauma. Control and bleeding within the abdomen is extremely difficult. Direct compression to the injury site is not possible. The site of injury is not easily accessible and there may be multiple injuries, which increases blood loss further. Transport to a hospital takes time and it can be delayed, especially in remote settings or without air superiority. My presentation will focus on a new intervention we're developing in the CASTRP lab to effectively stop bleeding and increase survival in casualties with non-compressible abdominal hemorrhage. Next slide, please. Current devices that have been developed to manage non-compressible abdominal hemorrhage aim to buy time for patients until surgery can be performed. These devices act by occluding major arteries within the abdomen or by increasing the intra-abdominal pressure, but they have major limitations and increase the risk of complications such as ischemia and abdominal compartment syndrome. Topically applied hemostatic agents such as thrombin and tranexamic acid, which is an antifibrinolytic agent, are effective in many bleeds, but are not used topically to manage abdominal hemorrhage. These agents cannot be transported to the bleeding site within the abdomen at high enough local concentrations. This is due to high flow rates and pooled blood, which flushes out agents and prevents their contact with injured vessels and organs. Next slide, please. In our lab, we've developed Counterflow, a system of self-propelling particles that can deliver drugs through pooled or outwards flowing blood. Counterflow consists of calcium carbonate microparticles that can be loaded with a therapeutic cargo, and these microparticles are porous. Calcium carbonate particles can be mixed with an organic acid, and in this case, we actually use protonated tranexamic acid. When this mixture of acid and calcium carbonate contacts blood, a chemical reaction occurs, generates carbon dioxide, and this propels and disperses the cargo and the therapeutics deep into wounds and increases the local delivery. And this is shown in the above schematic and also below where counterflow can be loaded onto gauze and packed into a wound. In our lab's published work, we've shown that counterflow is highly effective at stopping the most severe forms of hemorrhage in multiple animal models, including a swine model of lethal femoral artery injury. Next slide, please. The current hypothesis that we are testing now is that counterflow could increase the transport of hemostatic agents within the abdomen and allow these agents to manage abdominal hemorrhage. And this is being done with the support of the Canadian Department of National Defense and the US DOD. We've formulated counterflow to be a highly flowable powder, and we've developed a spray device to spray this powder into the abdomen through narrow catheters without making any major incisions. This intervention is performed by using ultrasound to visualize blood in the abdomen. And once the blood is identified, a catheter can be placed into the bleed using the Seldinger technique, which is minimally invasive and is the same technique used to put in an IV line. Counterflow can be sprayed through the catheter using the spray device where it reacts in blood to disperse hemostatic agents and address bleeding. And we think that this intervention could be performed pre-hospital. Next slide, please. And in early data, we have just started to test counterflow using a model of non-compressible abdominal hemorrhage. And I'm excited to share some of our preliminary early results with you. In this experiment, pigs were split into two groups and either treated with counterflow or given fluid resuscitation only as a control. Both groups were also given TXA intravenously. Our early results suggest that counterflow has a survival benefit within the first three hours after injury. The median survival time in the fluid resuscitation group was 0.8 hours, and the median survival time in the counterflow group was 2.5 hours. To confirm that counterflow does not increase the intra-abdominal pressure to dangerous levels like other devices do, we measured the change in IAP over the course of this experiment, and we found it to be five millimeters mercury, which is an acceptable safe increase for this early iteration of our, of our prototype. 
Our future directions are to continue testing counterflow and swine models of abdominal hemorrhage and continuing to work on our spray device, which will improve the safety further. In conclusion, counterflow is a promising agent for the pre-hospital management of abdominal hemorrhage. A big thank you to all of our collaborators and funding agencies who made this possible. Thank you all for listening. I'd be happy to take any questions or comments that you have. Great, thank you, Massimo. So again, you can either put your hand up or ask questions in the chat box. So I, I have a question for you. Have you tried other organic acids besides tranexam tranexamic acid? Or are you choosing that because you get an additional effect on the coagulation system? Um, we have tried additional organic acid, but we've never tried the organic acid by themselves without it also adding TXA to it. So we think that this platform would work without TXA as well, but TXA is a very attractive um, ingredient, I guess, for, for these applications. Yeah, that makes sense. Other questions? Are you clotters out there? I know you're there. I have a question. Go right ahead, Peter. Massimo, are you um, planning to, at some point, I know this is still pilot data that you're showing, um, compare with uh, whatever the leading product is on the market? That's a good question, Peter. Um, I think that for now, we're just hoping to demonstrate a survival benefit between the powder and what's currently done, current standards of care. Um, because the other devices work in a different way, I think it would be difficult to really improve, like show improved outcomes versus those devices. But I think it's definitely something that once we're really in advanced, advanced development, it might be interesting to do. Okay, thank you. Okay, uh, Cedric. Yes, okay, fascinating. Uh, you've chosen a, an antifibrin, is it? Uh, uh, do you also have an interest in putting in a prothrombotic? A prothrombotic. Um, yes. So our, our calcium carbonate particles are loaded with thrombin. Um, and so okay. the, the combination is thrombin and tranexamic acid. Okay, so I didn't realize that. My apologies. Okay, fantastic. Uh, 